Welcome that back to the balance side of teletainment at the Good Morning Nigeria show. Now we get some very, very casual guests in the house, as we've been talking before. Uh, you know, say, entertainment is never the same. It's never complete. Uh, entertainment in general, whether it's movies, music, drama, art, if you know put fashion inside. And on top of that particular matter, now maybe we carry these three casual guests in the house. And uh, fashion, 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 uh, fashion and music, now they carry come with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we watch us for house. They're going to join us to welcome. First of all, we get Ngozi here. And then we get to it, and then we get over. If you look at them, you're going to say these people are fashion people and then be. You're welcome to our couch. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we will start from you, Ngozi. Uh, you and I have been in communication, in fact. I know you've noticed that Ngozi, I know they talk to all these weeks. Uh, it's good to have you, in our, you know, on our couch. Thank you. So, Ngozi, please tell us a little bit about, um, about the event that's coming up. Okay, first of all, I want to say that my kitchen. I also speak speak kitchen. Uh, you don't already speak now. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes, um, as I said, my, na my name is Ngozi mm -hmm. Mambala. Um, I've been managing director for NMO Management. Okay. We get this show for November 29th. Um, the name is Music Fashion Runway. Mm -hmm. They happen for November 29th at Lagos Continental. Okay. Music, na fashion, entertainment. All, all, all in one. All in one. Mm -hmm. Now, we know it's going to be the first time when I do this show. Uh, it's happened in 2015, and then about 2016, 2017. Mm -hmm. Now, over the years, first of all, uh, what did it bring up the initiative to say we won't start this music fashion runway? As you know, say, this entertainment business, not only, not only be music, mm -hmm. yeah. but fashion, not music, everything even together. art, everything together. Yeah. So, that's what we they do, we they follow people's demand. Mm -hmm. Stay, they want fashion, they want music. So okay now before we <coughs> excuse me, before I come to to, to you, Tony, make a first meet Ovo. Now um I've been they try to remember where I've been done meet you like in a men's fashion week. Now I've been meeting very likely. Uh, very likely in a men's fashion week. Now I would like to ask you, um men and fashion, you don't you, you know somebody we don't did the industry for a very long time. And fashion, they or you will say fashion is dynamic, always yeah. changing. You know, so how you go in the past ten years, the way fashion they change, particularly in Nigeria here now, our own um our own designs, our own fabrics, don't they reach the international community? What do you go, uh, what do you go attribute this one to? Is it that um, the, because of the internet, because people don't they see say African designs, don't they, don't they, don't they good, well, well? I mean, I just say our designers are doing a lot better now. Well, uh, social media has mm -hmm. helped a lot. Uh, but over time, you can't take away creativity from Africans. And then you can't take away style from Nigerians. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, there's no doubt, even when you look at Nigerians abroad, you see that they, tre they set the trends. You know, designers even over the years have uh, styled the likes of the First Lady. You know, so um, it's very relevant. In your music videos, you see um, the artists being styled by very creative African yeah. and Nigerian designers. You know, so um, we, we play a very key role. And um, over time, internationally, they've recognized this. And it's very exciting to see that back at home here, we're beginning to appreciate what we have. You know, uh, Diola Sego, one of our leading designers, said on CNN once during her interview that uh, we're taking back what belongs to us. Mm. So when you talk about fashion, you talk about style, you talk about creativity, I think it's in it. It's something God has blessed Africa, uh, our Africans with. And then in the scheme of affairs, Nigeria plays a very, very key role. You know, so it's not surprising now you have loads of fashion weeks. Um, most of the leading fashion weeks uh, in Africa are held here in Nigeria. Mm. You know, we've been able to pull the heavyweights, um, the, the likes of Naomi Campbell, yes. Tyson Beckford, mm. you know, top designers, yeah, both within Africa and internationally. But it's beautiful to see that we're beginning to export what we have, you know, to the world. Right. Interestingly, um, one of our leading designers, Jo by Lisa, she showed something they were selling, I think it was in Harrods, and it was made with uh, tribal prints, mm. which we know is purely African. You know, but you need to see what the price tag. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> it anything, was ridiculous. Anything we cross border, don't turn, exactly. don't turn for it. And the price, the I'm price telling you, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. So it's really exciting of that the world is appreciating what Africa has that's to right. offer mm. and that's really part of what the music, fashion and runway platform mm. is, is doing. You're bringing the best acts from across Africa, uh, both in terms of the designers, in terms of uh, the musicians, mm -hmm. and it's also very good and commendable 
that we're beginning to uh, synergize our strengths. So you, you can't have music in isolation of fashion. You can't have, even in your movies, sure. you know, you're still expressing something. You're showing style. You're showing creativity. You know, you're showing all that dynamism, you know. And then we can't achieve all that without the role that you're playing. Mm. So which is why we're super excited that uh, within your entertainment uh, line, you, you have fashion also being... Um, showcase to the world. Let the world see what Africa has to offer. Right, that's beautiful. Uh, coming to you, Tony, now me and Nose, uh, just before we come to Ngozi to conclude on, on Music Fashion Runway, um, uh, Yoki, uh, although don't talk about, you know, the beauty, the goodness of uh, African fashion, African design, even in the international scene, but of course, there's no goodness without challenges. Uh, what do you feel to be the challenges with African fashion uh, don't, don't encounter, and like, maybe in the past 10 years, maybe? Well, I think beauty mm. is most most times I would say a lot a lot of a lot of times a lot of times most people don't pay attention to beauty in terms of when they are talking about fashion it's about fashion 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 I represent beauty so I would say when the beauty part is not complete, it's not put together. Because when you talk of fashion, you talk of, oh yes, the costume, oh yes, the fabric, oh yes, the, the finishing. But when you want to sell it out there, you know, it has to, it has to be well presented. Mm -hmm. And putting that forward to the whole world, to the buyers, to the crowd, you have to say, oh, you have to include beauty, which is hair, makeup, you know, and all of that. So, that's what I. That's where I feel people in. The, that's where I feel fashion is lacking. That's where I feel the challenge is because they do, they intend to leave or forget or they they, they leave that side. Mm. So that's the only challenge I feel that um, the fashion okay. has. Yes. Okay. Well, we hope that challenge eventually will go fit uh, con conquer that particular. Ah, uh, they must conquer <laughs> and, and make and make fashion uh, a lot better in Nigeria, particularly. I'm yeah. coming back to you, Ngozi, now for music fashion runway. Um, well, like I said, uh, me and you don't talk, Tete, even though we never see ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, me, I don't get very excited already about the things where you don't talk about what thing will happen. So tell us a little bit more. Who and who will they expect? Okay. Uh, for the people where they, they don't they see you now on TV, they say. Ah, this particular show, I must go there. As well, the pictures of the past events, now they see for the TV there. So what would they expect come this year's event? Okay, well, we've, um, it's a pan-African show. Mm -hmm. um, not be only Nigeria. Of course. We get plenty, plenty fashion designers from across the continent. Plenty, plenty musicians from across the continent. Mm -hmm. It's our fourth year. And um, there's also a, we also have a Game Changer Award segment. Mm -hmm where we honor people who have laid the foundations in the industry covering music, fashion, and beauty, mm. and entertainment generally. So that's the ethos of what we've been doing. We've been doing it now for four years. Mm -hmm. This is our fourth anniversary. Mm. And we're also very excited. It's a beautiful platform, showcase of everything that we have on the continent. Fashion, music is, is one of my specialisms. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's not only Nigeria where we have fantastic musicians representing the continent and this is what this is all about and it's in Lagos Nigeria so we're all very very proud of this um, music runway um, fashion platform. That's beautiful. Coincidentally, we said for Azubia TV, we have been doing this for four years, and uh, <laughs> next month, November, we too will be celebrating fourth anniversary. Wow! That's together we can celebrate. We're about to say that Parapo. All together, now we go. This is this is very beautiful. This is very very beautiful. Um, so, still concerning, um, you know, the music, fashion, runway. Where where is this going to hold? Okay, it's holding on the 29th of November mm -hmm. at Lagos Continental, mm -hmm. formerly Intercontinental Hotel which is VI, Kofor Biomi. Um, there's some um, numbers, you can get information for the flyer. Mm. Plenty story for the flyer. Um, all the numbers are there. Um, we're still, you know, a lot of people are still ringing in, obviously wanting to get involved. Um, the designers are already, we're already full. Yeah. <laughs> we're already full, maybe for next year, but <laughs> this year we're quite full. But um, as I said, it's going to be an, an, amazing, an amazing showcase of, of what we represent as Africans and a pan-African concept, totally. Okay, so, um, I, well, I was going to ask, but I think um, it's not out of place to say that the difference between, because we know that they get so many fashion, fashion weeks, uh, some people yeah. know they don't understand which one be which one, you know. <laughs> so, particularly, uh, apart from the 
Africanism, so to speak, of this one where they come, what else do you think is going to be different from other fashion weeks where they happen uh, this year? Well, I just think um, what we're doing is very cutting edge. Mm -hmm. um, it's very young. It's very open-minded. It's not standard fashion. It might be left or centre. Mm -hmm. It might be slightly androgyn androgynous. Yes. And, um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's representing true, I say true creativity. So you have to have an open mind. It's an open mind fashion forum and music too. So the two blend in together. Um, uh, I would like to ask you, Ovo, um, recently we don't see a lot of designers, a lot of people, you know, working in the industry. Um, how, how, how encouraging has it been? What do you feel, say, uh, the encouragement, what the encouragement did there for a lot of young designers, particularly the men? Have you been seeing more of them turning out in the past few years? And if so, what do you feel, say, with that encouraging factor where they make them come out? Uh, truth is, there's been a lot of growth. There's also been um, some encouragement. Mm. Uh, you have a lot of younger designers, male or menswear designers yes. who are taking center stage now. As a matter of fact, personally, I believe that the younger uh, talents are people that you cannot afford to ignore because mm. they are coming in with a lot of very fresh ideas, very dynamic. Uh, we've had the likes of um, Bayo Okilawal, Orange Culture, who you know, has represented us very well. He represented not just Nigeria, but the uh, continents. Because he even had uh, some rapport with uh, Karl Lagerfeld, mm. you know, and then um, you, you've had the likes of Max Ziviv, um, a whole lot of young guys who are doing really amazing stuff, you know. So it's good that uh, there's more visibility now. Certainly, we can do a lot better, you know. But um, I think in terms of the uh, what's it called, the visibility, in terms of um, even coming together, I think there's a need to see more collaborations. Um, I mean, abroad for some of these talents, they have the factories that can help them to mass produce. They have, uh, we have the manpower, we have the talents. So it's also good that the government is showing some interest, you know. So we commend the likes, uh, the efforts of the likes of um, a whole lot of people, Yemi Akrele, through the Lagos Fashion and Design, uh, or the Lagos Fashion Week platform. Uh, of course, what uh, Ndoz is doing really incredible both for the music and the the fashion industry you know so it's like bringing out all all of these new talents who are young and um with a lot of zeal and with a lot of energy so yeah but things could still definitely get better Thank you very much. I feel like people are here for longer, but my producer don't give this part for my ears. So we have to go. We have to go. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. We will do our best to make sure, say, uh, we too will contribute concerning uh, music fashion runway, definitely. All right. So for all of now, we did watch the music fashion runway in November. Now they happen. November, what date again? 29th. 29th of November. So you still get one whole month yeah. to prepare and to plan. Uh, go on to social media. Go on to Instagram. Go on to their website. Everything they did, all the information you need about this particular matter, you go see and for there. Thank you once again for joining us on the couch. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.